uh, my first question is to you. Uh, when you look at Mayawati and the BSP today, do you get the feeling that even Gandhi has lost out to Ambedkar in terms of a living political legacy? No, I think uh, in, the, in the context of Dalit emancipation, uh, it's only just and right that the leaders and activists and ideologues come from within the Dalit community. I think Gandhi made an enormous contribution in awakening the conscience of some upper caste people to the oppression against the Dalits. But Ambedkar provided the alternative route of self-organization, which I think uh, was necessary for the Dalits. So do you think Ambedkar remains more politically relevant to modern India? Well, yes and no, because see, Gandhi was much more than caste. And Gandhi's vision was much more than India. I would argue, if Ambedkar is the conscience of the nation, Gandhi is the conscience of the world. Gandhi's ideas on non-violence, on interfaith, harmony, Gandhi's brilliant critique of the excesses of industrial civilization, his anticipation of the environmental crisis, also make him a compellingly relevant figure at the global level. So let's celebrate and honor both. Let's not choose. Okay. Uh, Shashanti Chari, uh, the uh, Hindu nationalist movement with which you are associated with always posited culture. Culture as an identity, culture as an organizing principle, Hindu culture as a kind of mobilizing factor. But Ambedkar's legacy has shown that it's not culture, but it's no. caste. It's uh, militant caste identity, which is much more mobilizing than culture. No, before we come to the issue of caste, I have to, I mean, they say the best way to punish a philosopher is to provide him with uh, followers. What has failed Gandhi and Ambedkar both are the followers. I would uh, rather suggest say that both Ambedkar and Gandhi picked up a leaf from Gautama Buddha's book. They are both disciples of Buddha. They are both extensions of the Buddhist philosophy in some way or the other. Gandhi's stress was more on non-violence and peace of Buddha, where Ambedkar's stress was more on the uh, divisions that the caste has made in the Hindu society. Buddha's crusade against the divisions in Hindu society mm -hmm. was a leaf that Ambedkar picked up and in a way both of them had an uh, unshakable faith in the fact that it is religion alone which can pave way for all these things. But Ambedkar said Hinduism is infamy, when is an atrocity in religion, human When I say religion, I am not talking only about Hinduism, it is an organization of the religion. That is why his stress was on Buddhism. So, it is. It would be very wrong to compare these two persons. And if it no, turns, what about the legacy of Ambedkar? What is the legacy of Ambedkar today, according <coughs> to you? See, it was it was possible for a section of the leadership in the present political leadership to transform Ambedkar into a political icon. That's a good point. Which which the Congress Party was unable to make because of its own internal contradictions. That's an important point to put to you, Chandraban Prasad. That without Mayawati and Kanshi Ram, there would be no Ambedkar. Just as the, the Congress party failed to transform Gandhi into a modern I icon, but Mayawati and Kanchiram have made uh, Ambedkar into a modern icon, not Ambedkar himself. It was, it was within Ambedkar. And that's why I say, Gandhism is a philosophy of the dead. Ambedkar is a philosophy of the living. So it was, a, it is a logical uh, uh, progress which creates a Mayawati and a Kanchiram. Whereas Gandhi would not logically produce a leader who is contemporary. Well, I don't agree with this uh, uh, total dismissal of Gandhi. Uh, it, it was it's not, not a failure. It's not dismissal. It's, it's See, not dismissal. Gandhi, Gandhi's philosophy. Gandhi's philosophy. I would rather agree with Ramchandra Gowan on this issue that Gandhi's philosophy extends to the whole of the humanity, the whole world. Peace, non-violence. These are all issues that everybody in the world is talking about. But how about. relevant are they? Where, and, where uh, Ambedkar's issue, Ambedkar necessarily associated himself with one single problem which he was mm -hmm. himself subjected to in his but own but life. Right. No, 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 I am no, 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 going to analyze uh, it from that point I will give one example. So, <coughs> see, Gandhi ji was a local hero. If you read Ambedkar, Ambedkar wanted to name India what? I'm, I'm, I'm United sorry. States of India. Mm -hmm. And that he wrote in his States and Minorities. I think Gandhi wrote so many things. Profound books Ambedkar wrote so many things about Islam. Ambedkar wrote so many things about Pakistan.